Hello everybody and welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Today is Friday, which as always means I'm going to be talking about a Marvel thing that comes out, as well as a bunch of new releases. Today I'm hoping to get through Jacob's Wife as well as Monday. And of course, I did watch The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, episode 5. So let's jump right into that. Uh, just quick fair warning, there are spoilers for episode 5, so if you haven't seen episode 5 yet, this is not for you. Um, uh, maybe go watch the episode and come back to the video later. Um, but we're going to dive through, we're going to dive through bits and pieces of it and talk about it and think about what I, what I, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and I'm really excited about it because it's, it's a very good episode. I think it's my favorite episode. It beat last week's episode just, I think, by a little bit. Um, I do think it's better. So, with the spoiler warning intact, let's begin. We start off with what is probably the coolest entry to one of the shows they've had so far, right? Like... I love it when shows do this, where they have a cold open, and then they have the title sequence, right? And this is one really big one, right? They have this huge fight. Well, let's talk about the fight for a second. I think the choreography for the fight was really cool. I do. I think it worked really well. I liked all the parts where, like, their faces were close together, and it looked really intense and stuff. However, when they were doing the hits and the stuff, there was too much editing, right? Like, I think the choreography was really good, but if we had the camera steady, it would have looked even better. It reminds me of, like, a really bad WWE sequence, right? Where, like, it was, like, cut, 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 cut. And I think it would have been better if they didn't. I understand probably why they did, because they can't sell all those real punches from the same angles. But still, I think it would have been better. I, I like, like, John Wick, for instance, is always really good at doing these really cool fight sequences while editing it to make it look good. This was just not very good editing, in my opinion. Um, but I do think the fight was cool. And I like how we didn't even see the Falcon and the Winter Soldier uh, logo until the fight was done, which was like, what, 10 minutes or something like that? It was insane. It was awesome. Uh, speaking of 10 minutes, the runtime, it's like an hour. It's an hour long. I was like, whoa, they're getting long. I hope the next one isn't even longer. I, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, I want it longer, but I don't. That's a long time. <laughs> I get up at 6.30 anyway to watch this stuff, so it's like, oh, that's really early. Um, but yeah, I think the opening sequence is really, really cool. And then we get to, we kind of take a chill pill, right? We kind of go back a little bit, right? Because John Walker's being recused of, of the, the, the Captain America title. And then, you know, Sam goes back to his family to help sell the boat. Uh, Zemo gets taken by the Wakandans. Um, and, and Bucky goes to help Sam because he feels like he actually likes him now. You kind of get that buddy moments, uh, which it worked, were nice. I think they worked really well. Um, and getting more backstory on Sam was nice. And also getting more backstory on the other black super soldier uh, was really heartbreaking and awesome. Um, I think that it worked really well for them to, to include him here. Um, I don't know if we'll see more of him. I don't really think we will, um, but I think that it was really good to get that kind of closure for Sam and for us as well, because he was only in one episode before this. So it's nice to get to see him again and to kind of settle the dust on, um, on his character there. And it's really heartbreaking. Uh, Definitely one of the sadder moments of the MCU, in my opinion. Um, I didn't cry, uh, but I almost did. It, it was really, really devastating. And I like how Marvel is bringing in these kind of dark and, and, and uncomfortable themes, right? That's that's something that I think that DC did well with Joker, right? Where they were like, we're talking about violence and how you can literally make somebody want to kill people if you don't treat them the right way. This is talking about racism in the same kind of aspect where, like, Racism is bad, not a whole lot of people talk about it, so we're going to use our comic book movies to kind of talk about it. And it's working really well for them in this season, and I hope they continue to do these kind of things as it really makes, it adds another layer of importance on the, these episodes. Because it, to most people, these are probably just like a superhero show, right? Which it is, it's a superhero show, but it can also be so much more, right? It can be a political show without having to be in-your-face political. And I think that this did work really well as... as, as uh, a racism awareness issue um, in the content uh, in the context of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I was, I was kind of blown away, honestly. I'm really happy that it worked for them. And then, uh, in the midst of all of that, we also get to see Val for the first time. Which, if you guys don't know who Val is, she is who is she's Madame Hydra, right? Um, from the comics, she becomes Madame Hydra, which spawns a whole new layer. Of interesting theories okay and I don't think we're gonna get them at the end of the show quite yet we might get a tease for it but I don't think we're actually gonna get any of it by the end of it but here's my thought we kind of have known that the Young Avengers is gonna happen soon right there's just so many Young Avengers that can easily be used as 
um, as the Young Avengers, right? It's just, it's pretty obvious it's going to happen soon. However, one thing that we also thought was going to happen soon, we didn't have anything pointing towards it, was the Dark Avengers. But now, we do, right? And the Dark Avengers are basically the anti-Avengers um, in Marvel history, and they're really great. Um, so it'd be cool if we got the Young Avengers and the Dark Avengers, uh, which I think we will get both. And in terms of the Dark Avengers, I think it'd be really cool if we saw John Walker, right, as Captain America still. We get John Walker's Captain America, as well as Madam Hydra, and maybe even Zemo at this point. Um, I, I, I don't think Zemo will be involved in the Dark Avengers, I just don't, because he wouldn't want to work with uh, Walker, who's being a super soldier, but I think it'd be interesting to see. I do think that we won't see the Young Avengers or the Dark Avengers until Phase 5, right? Phase 4 is probably just going to be a build-up for the Young Avengers and the Dark Avengers. I think that's, how, I think that's what they're, they're going with here, um, and it's possible. And then towards the end of the episode, of course, uh, Sam gets his shield um, back, and he decides he's going to take on the mantle of the Captain America. It's never out there. It's never said that he's going to, but he, it's, it's, you can tell he works out for it. He tries on the shield. He practices throwing it all the time. Um, and there's a secret case that Bucky brought from the Wakandans for him. And we don't really know what's in the case, but I think it's safe to say it's a Captain America outfit. Um, I th My first thought was that it's a new upgraded Falcon outfit, right? Because we had... Um, uh, he, he, he broke it in this, this episode, and he's going to need a new one. But I'm starting to think it might just be a Captain America outfit. Um, in which case, we would have Captain America, and it would be actually Captain America. It would be the Falcon who would be Captain America, which I can get behind for sure. Um, and then... Bucky's off to go do Winter Soldier stuff to try to uh, get rid of that conscience, which I'm sure we'll see probably the end of next episode him start to realize that he can stop being the Winter Soldier and become the White Wolf, in which case we will have Captain America and we'll have the White Wolf, and that will be the complete story arc for the Falcon and for the Winter Soldier. Um, however, we'll still have Sam, we'll still have Bucky, but they're going to be completely changed people. Um, and then at the end of the, the, the season, the end credit scene, of course, was... Walker building his own Captain America shield, which... Dark Avengers? Hello? I think we'll see him next episode. I think they are going to fight him, but I don't think he's going to die. I don't think, he's, I don't think they're going to kill him, and he'll probably go to prison. Uh, if they even do that, it's possible that we don't even see him again. It's possible they're just going to fight uh, the, the, the Flag people, the Flag Smashers. It's possible. Um, which is, I know we're, they're going to fight the Flag Smashers next episode. It's extremely teased. Um, but whether or not John Walker comes back, we don't really know. Um, I would assume he would, but I can also see how it wouldn't. Uh, I don't really know what the outcome is going to be. I'm really excited for next episode. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm curious, uh, but I'm, I'm not necessarily super excited about it. Um, I think it's a really solid episode. In my opinion, it's more solid than the, than WandaVision. Um, but I'm a little nervous. I, I hope they don't try to ruin it here. I hope it is good and it makes sense in the context because Marvel could just be like, oh, and then there's a fight scene. That's the end of it. And I'm like, I want there to be weight behind what they're doing here. And I think they're going to deliver, but I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to get my hopes too high. But that's going to do it for me today, talking about the Falcon Winter Soldier episode five. I think it's really solid. It's one of my favorite episodes. I think it might be my favorite episode and I'm really excited to watch more. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead and check out my other videos on the channel. Uh, subscribe, uh, like the video, all that kind of stuff, of course. Later on today, hopefully I'll have Jacob's Wife review and Monday out um, because both of those are new releases. Monday does have Sebastian Stan, uh, so it'll be kind of fun to get like, two Sebastian Stan things in one day. But I'm really excited to watch it. I'm going to go get started watching one now before I go to class, and then I will finish it when I get out of class. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.